In this video, we're going to go over the process of registering an internet domain name. Uh, we'll go over searching for a domain name to see if it's available. And once we find an available domain name, we will sign up for a Namecheap account to register that domain. Once we've completed the process of registering the domain name, your domain will be available to use for your website and for your custom domain email as well. We're going to start out by going to Namecheap.com. And I provided a reference link as well. Down here, we'll go ahead and type in a domain name that we want to see if it's available for purchase. So I'm going to put in dresscode.com and see what comes up. And here we can see that dresscode.com is actually not available. You can look down here and you can see any other domain names with dress code that are available like dresscode.tech, but I really want a .com domain. So I'm going to go ahead and put in sfdresscode.com and we'll do a search and see if it comes up. Okay, so SF dress code is available. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this domain. I'm going to click this little shopping cart button right here. And over here we can see it's been added to our shopping cart. I'm going to click view cart to go ahead and check out. Now here you, we can see the line items that we're purchasing. We've got the domain name right here. And then here's a free who is guard subscription. Whenever you register a domain name, as you'll see in a moment, you have to enter in your name, your address, your phone number, all the information. Who is guard basically masks that information. And if you do a who is search, which you can do on any domain to see who the domain's registered to, you'll actually see who is guard's contact information as opposed to yours. Namecheap offers this for a year, and then after a year, you can renew it if you like. So now we're going to go ahead and click Confirm Order. And either you can log in to a Namecheap account if you already have one, or you can go ahead and register for a new account, which I'll go over that process now. I'm going to enter in a username. This can be whatever you want. I'm going to use IB Camp for Internet Business Camp. Enter in a strong password. And then your first and last name and an email address for you. And you can choose if you want to sign up for Namecheap's newsletter. I'm going to go ahead and deselect it. And then click Create Account and Continue. And now here we're going to enter in contact information. Okay, so I've got all the information entered already. I just skipped past all that because you didn't need to see how to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and click Continue here. We have that who is contact information here that we talked about earlier. We'll go ahead and click continue. And now we'll put in our payment information. I'm just going to use a credit card, but you can definitely use PayPal as well. Uh, there's an option towards the bottom to switch to PayPal if that's something you prefer. So I've skipped ahead. I've already entered my payment details, as you can see. And there's that option right there to, to Go to PayPal if you prefer. And I'm going to click Continue. And this is just a review of the order. We've got the domain name and the free who is guard. And the payment information. And then we'll go ahead and click Pay Now. And there we have it. The domain name has been registered and it is ready for use. Be sure to check out the next two videos where I go over setting up your domain to send and receive email using a free service and setting up your domain to work with a Shopify e-commerce store.